Hi, my name is Becky and I'm from the Material Science and Engineering Department. I'm going to give you an overview of the first year modules included in this course at Swansea University. First is Introduction to Materials Engineering, which covers key concepts relating to material selection and applications. You will gain an appreciation of material selection in relation to structural and physical properties of metallic, ceramic, polymeric and composite materials by considering their stress strain characteristics, elastic and plastic behaviour, as well as toughness and hardness, and how their microstructure can have an effect on these properties. The topic of crystal structures in materials is also introduced in this module. Following on from this is a module called Mechanical Properties of Materials, where you'll look more closely into the relationship between microstructure and mechanical properties of metals, and this builds on the previous module, Introduction to Materials Engineering. This module investigates different failure mechanisms, looking at how crystal structures in materials can deform, how stress cracking propagates, as well as the fundamental differences between two main fracture mechanisms, ductile and brittle fractures. The Materials Practicals 1 module, uh, Structure and Properties with Links in Metals, is a laboratory-based module which teaches you how to prepare materials for optical light microscopy and scanning electron microscopy examination, as well as using standard mechanical testing methods, and supports the learning from the previous two modules. For example, you'll investigate the effect of varying carbon additions in steels, how grain size can affect mechanical properties, and how temperature can affect fracture mechanisms, as well as how to analyse and present written results in a scientific report. A further module looks at material resources and how materials advancements throughout history have shaped and evolved society, such as the Stone Age, the Iron Age, the Bronze Age, and so on. This module also looks at the availability of resources today and how these resources need to be both economically attractive as well as sustainable when considering the life cycle of a product. Engineering analysis for materials one and two are both maths-based modules which support learning throughout the other modules. In the first semester, the course looks to ground math knowledge for everybody um, and bring everyone up to the general standard required for materials engineers and includes lectures on algebra, functions, trigonometry, basic differentiation and static mechanics. In the second semester, some more advanced topics are introduced, such as sequences and series, basic matrix algebra and manipulation, dynamic mechanics for linear and rotational motion and statistics. The Design and Laboratory Classes module teaches you about creating engineering drawings using CAD software and developing essential lab skills, including mechanical testing and microscopy in our purpose-built materials testing labs, as well as report writing and team building skills. The Manufacturing Technology module provides an overview of current, emerging, integrated um, manufacturing processes, covering the methods used for polymers, ceramics and glass, as well as techniques such as metal casting, powder metallurgy, metal forming, cutting tools and post-processing treatments such as heat treatment. You'll learn about how these different processing methods affect the material structure and how the selection of the manufacturing method is important to produce products with optimum performance but minimum cost. Another module looks at instrumental and analytical chemistry which teaches the principles and practice of analytical chemistry and techniques, including gravimetric, titrometric separation, and spectroscopy techniques. This module also helps you learn how to process and report scientific results and how to identify potential errors in data and what their causes are. The case studies in materials module focuses on a particular engineering material, component, or structure, and it aligns with real world engineering situations. The first case study, engineering design, um, aspects considers form, structural requirements and manufacturing processes. The second looks at material selection for applications using software um, to ensure everyone considers design requirements for specific components and applications. The third is a failure analysis case study which focuses on a real life example where you have to use different techniques to work out why um, a, a part failed. And finally, perovskite solar cell manufacture where you have to select the optimum perovskite material for manufacturing a solar cell. The Engineering Professional Development module helps you to develop fundamental engineering communication skills within an industrial concept. 
through working in teams, uh, developing technical report writing skills, as well as looking into the roles and responsibilities of professionals within the science and engineering sector. Depending on which A-levels or equivalent you come to Swansea with, you'll also be required to choose one of the following modules. The Foundation Chemistry module is for students coming in without a A-level in chemistry and combines taught and practical elements. The taught component consists of lectures on atomic structure, chemical formula, bonding types and rates of reaction, whilst the practical component focuses on carrying out basic lab tasks in an accurate and safe manner. For those without an A-level in physics, the engineering science module teaches you about mechanical, thermoelectrical and optical properties of matter um, and covers topics such as states of matter, thermal properties, uh, waves, the photoelectric effect and lasers. For those with both an A-level in physics and chemistry, the engineering sustainability module provides an insight into the ethics of engineering design um, and looks at the whole system approach to the sustainable engineering, performing life cycle assessment and looking into the circular economy. The materials engineering course uh, at Swansea offers significant collaboration with local industry and the opportunity to study beyond undergraduate level.